Maharashtra is the most progressive and pioneer state in the field of town planning, mainly because of strength of town planners and government initiatives during the last 50 years. Formation of City and Industrial Development Corporation of Maharashtra, Bombay Metropolitan Regional Development Authority, Pimpri Chinchwad New Town Development Authority are some of the government initiatives. In the year 1951, there were hardly 10 to 15 town planners in the country. All of them rather were educated abroad and there was not even a single school of planning and architecture in India. And that is why these 15 town and country planners, they gathered together and decided to establish the Institute of Town Planners India. And in the year 1952, it started functioning. The basic objective of the Institute of Town Planners India is to promote town planning education in the country to promote the town planning profession in various states of the country. Until 1969, there was no Bombay chapter. One of the leading architect town planners of Mumbai, Mr. S. H. Godbole and Dr. H. D. Kopardikar, they came together and requested institute that according to your criteria, if there are 10 persons of the profession staying in a city, then you can grant regional chapter there. Whereas in Mumbai, we have more than 25 persons, so please grant us the regional chapter. So that's how the first regional chapter for Maharashtra was granted way back in 1969. And it was inaugurated by Urban Development Minister, Mr. P. G. Kher. As a first major activity for creating awareness amongst people, we arranged a very big town planning exhibition in which 25 agencies participated, like Town Planning Department, MIDC, etc. And uh, this exhibition was inaugurated by the Minister of Urban Development. During 1972, the chapter recommended that the posts of town planners should be created in municipal corporation in the state. The chapter recommended to the Municipal Finance Commission to give priority in funding for implementation of the development plan, urban renewal and the town planning schemes. The chapter also organized the seminars in collaboration with the University of Bombay on urban and regional planning in Soviet Union. During 1975, the 24th Annual Town and Country Planning Seminar of the ITPA was organized in Bombay. The seminar was inaugurated by Shri Shankar Rao Chauhan, the then Honorable Chief Minister of Maharashtra State, and the exhibition was also inaugurated by Dr. Rafiq Zakaria, the then Minister for Urban Development of Government of Maharashtra. Shri J.G. Keskar, Director of Town Planning, and Dr. Kopardikar played a key role in organizing the seminar. An attractive souvenir published on the occasion of seminar was based on representation of well-planned cities. The chapter recommended a proposal to enact a law for the preservation of trees in urban areas. In response, Maharashtra government eventually enacted Maharashtra Tree Act in 1975. It was around 1990 that we were looking for a permanent space for MRC. Thanks to Mr. Gokte and Mr. Parab, Chief Architects and Planners of SIDCO, who offered us a plot of 1,000 square meters in the heart of Navi Mumbai at concessional rates. We spent considerable time on planning and designing of the building. The challenges in the construction were very steep. And in the first phase, we could hardly construct the ground floor. We inaugurated the building on the auspicious day of Gudi Padwa of the year 2000. This is an open plan around a central courtyard as per the traditional Indian style. All the activities of the institute are around this central courtyard. One of our senior members, architect planner Sri Belekar, offered his architectural services without charging any fees. We collected donations for construction of the ground floor. Even our members contributed personally for the building funds. The second phase was completed in next five years. And finally, the building was completed in 2011. Thus, over a period of 10 years, we could create this beautiful building with wonderful spaces. The facility at MRC building, guest rooms and the library. Students can have an affordable stay, a safe stay. 
ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ టౌన్ ప్లానర్ ఇండియా మహారాష్ట్ర రీజనల్ చాప్టర్ ముంబై ఈజ్ వెరీ యాక్టివ్ ఇన్ కండక్టింగ్ ద ప్రొఫెషనల్ యాక్టివిటీస్ ఇన్ నవ్ ముంబై దిస్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ హ్యాస్ సో ఫార్ కండక్టెడ్ ఫోర్ నేషనల్ కాన్ఫరెన్సెస్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ టౌన్ ప్లానర్స్ టూ ఇన్ పుణే వన్ ఇన్ నాసిక్ అండ్ వన్ ఇన్ బాంబే సో ఫార్ ద ముంబై చాప్టర్ హ్యాస్ సక్సెస్ఫుల్లీ ఆర్గనైజ్ త్రీ వెజ్జోన్ కాన్ఫరెన్సెస్ on the current topics of urbanizations and reforms apart from this the chapter also organizes various workshops seminars and discussions on various current topics of urbanization in continuation with the various workshop carried out by the mrc mumbai the presentation by the chairman mumbai portress on sharing their development proposals for mumbai Eastern Waterfront was a excellent experience in regard to the transformation of port lands in urban area. The institute is a forum for good interaction among the planners. On the count of directorate as well as the school of CUIP conducting town planning courses, the number of town planners in Pune Mumbai was very high and since that time it was necessary to start a chapter at Pune. We are proud to have one of its kind building for such a good center of MRC. We must mention the contribution of Mr. Akode, who has been very instrumental in bringing this local center in its true shape. I am fortunate to work as a vice president and president uh, for the institution, the Institute of Town Planners India. Uh, during my tenure i was able to get the land for the pune center at a concessional rate from the government of maharashtra i extend my sincere thanks to the then chief minister of maharashtra shri prithviraj chavan who also laid the foundation stone for the building i also extend my sincere thanks to the pcntda in one go we completed this building with active participation of the members from pune more particularly mr kiran ramthir professor rawal professor sonar uh, mr nale and host of other members the role really is to create and uh, educate give training to all the new professionals who are coming in the field of town planning this chapter provides platform for planners to exchange ideas and experiences of different fields related to planning and development Out of 5,500 members who are registered to the Institute of Town Planners India as a member, we are about 625 other members from Maharashtra chapter and if we add the numbers from the Nagpur chapter, it comes around 1,000 which reflects that 20% is the share of Maharashtra as a membership to at a national level. I would like to thank Mr. Akode, ex-director Town Planning Department, Sri Avinash Patil, Joint Director Town Planning Department, Sri Bopale, Deputy Director Town Planning Department, Sri Ravindra Kumar Mankar, he is Additional Chief Planner, Sidko, Sri Rajesh Padke, who is a member of our ITPI, for not only instrumenting procurement of the land, but also in instrumenting for completing the Pune Central Building within a record period of three years. During past 50 years, the Institute of Town Planners India Mumbai chapter has made a huge stride. Its membership has grown from 25 in 1970 to 625 today. MRC has not only developed its own headquarters in Navi Mumbai, but helped to develop a new regional center at Pune. It organized four national congress, various zonal conferences, workshops, discussions and meetings covering wide spectrum of planning subjects. It aims to become an effective platform for deliberation on plans and planning policies, regulations and evaluating effectiveness of their implementation. To this end, it has decided to establish an urban research lab. In near future, we would like the institute to establish School of Planning and Architecture in Navi Mumbai. I hope to achieve this for the chapter with the cooperation of members who have so wonderfully worked together all these years with great dedication. Let everyone's best wishes be with us. Delegates from Maharashtra will in a way benefit from the deliberation which are going to happen in this Congress 
for the knowledge of what is going on in urban planning across the country. I would like to wish Mumbai chapter a great success in organizing this conference. I wish a very happy and prosperous new year to all the delegates who are attending this particular conference at Navi Mumbai upon the invitation of the government of Maharashtra. The government of Maharashtra has extended invitation to ITPI headquarter. I have immense pleasure that the ITPI New Delhi headquarter have accepted the invitation of the government of Maharashtra. I wish all the delegates a comfortable stay and a very happy and healthy discussions which will be of great use to the government of Maharashtra in the long run. I wish this Congress a great success.